Welcome back, America. To you are joined now by the next United States Senator from Indiana, Mike Braun. You can follow him on Twitter at Braun for Indiana. I just had Karen Pence on, Mike Braun, the second lady of the United States. You have a high standard to live up to with the uh, the Indianans who are already in town. And, and no doubt. Uh, Karen and Mike have been uh, friends for a good while, served with uh, Mike a couple years when I was a state legislator, and uh, he's been behind the effort from the get-go. It's uh, great to have... Uh, friends and places like that. Well, tell us what you think about Joe Donnelly, Brett Kavanaugh, and Dr. Uh, Blasey Ford. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, of course, Joe Donnelly is, uh, I think, on the record that now he wants a a formal investigation uh, before, uh, you know, she comes uh, into committee. uh, And I think that uh, the stage has been set and the invitation by Chairman Grassley to um, do it on Monday, and I believe if uh, she does not appear on Monday, uh, you know, we go forward with a vote. Um, Just in even running my own campaign, the orchestration uh, by Chuck Schumer on running races and by doing anything in the Senate, it's got so much drama to it. It's got so much uh, delay and uh, confusion, and I think that's what we're seeing. I mean, the invitation is there. Hopefully she'll uh, attend, uh, Judge Kavanaugh does, and then uh, we uh, quickly go. To, uh, to me, this looks like uh, uh, the evidence is weak and that it was you know, staged uh, late in the game, and it looks like uh, typical Chuck Schumer tactics. Now, it, it seems to me as well that Joe Donnelly is going to face a choice if she doesn't appear, which is the record as it exists with an allegation that's been made but not uh, corroborated and Brett Kavanaugh's adamant denial under those circumstances Mike Braun would you vote to confirm Brett Kavanaugh I would because I uh, unless uh, in the hearing should she uh, you know attended on Monday something came out that was uh, you know just really changing the dynamic you know everything I've read and tried to understand about the particularities of the accusation and especially the way it's been orchestrated in terms of its revelation. Um, I think that uh, just pales in significance to a stellar record over so many years and testimonials that, you know, rebut that. So I I think that if you don't attend, you know, where you've been given an open forum, uh, that pretty well uh, closes the case for me. Okay, now, how much is this an active issue on the campaign trail in Indiana? There's a lot going on in Indiana. Your economy is booming. But how many people are talking to you about Judge Kavanaugh? Well, I, you know, and it would probably be the thing. Uh, here in Indiana, uh, border security is uh, right up there with jobs in the economy, the cost of health care, and folks actually worried about Social Security and Medicare due to the chronic deficits and debt. Uh, Judge Kavanaugh is probably the next uh, biggest topic and uh, I think for most Hoosiers you know he uh, epitomizes the kind of individual we want on the bench uh, for his qualifications and the fact that he's not going to legislate from it so uh, uh, I think that uh, it is important and I believe Joe Donnelly uh, again shows that he takes his marching orders from Chuck Schumer and when it comes to this he's already staked out his turf I think that's going to hurt him uh, regardless of how the vote turns out or what he turn, what he ends up doing with the vote. So it puts him in a tough spot, too. You know, if it moves to a vote when it hits the floor, what's he going to do now that he, you know, has got his ground staked out that there should be further investigation? Yeah, it, it, it does seem to me he is going to... The Democrats have really misjudged how this is playing. I, I want to listen to Dr. Blasey if she comes. I want to hear her out. I want to hear Judge Kavanaugh. Too. I do too. But if she does not testify, this is a open and shut case for me, and I believe they're attacking Susan Collins and Jeff Flake, and Lisa Murkowski is exactly the wrong thing to do. And I think Joe Donnelly had better vote for... I mean, I hope you beat him anyway, but you're going to romp if he votes against Judge Kavanaugh and nothing else has changed between now and then. Exactly. So it's put him actually in a tougher spot, uh, you know, from his equivocation and kind of dancing around uh, before this happened. Uh, And I think that it's really showing his true colors because to me, uh, you know, for the short time I was in the state legislature, a lot of this stuff gets orchestrated and especially at the federal level 
where you're getting your instructions from someone else. And Chuck Schumer's been running his campaign for him basically in Indiana uh, with negative advertising. And I see that same dynamic occurring here. And I think it tells Hoosiers that he's not independent in any fashion. Hell, he votes 100 percent of the time with uh, the liberal side of the party on all the important issues. So I think it's really exposing Joe Donnelly for what he is. Mike Braun, uh, momentum with you. Last question. You feel like it's going the right way? I mean, we could not have better news. We've been out. We, we are probably fundraising as well as any of the contested races in the country other than Florida. And when you're two points ahead uh, in the last public uh, opinion poll, we couldn't be in a better spot, but it's because of Joe Donnelly's bad record, and we're running a heck of a campaign. What's the website, Mike Braun? Uh, Mike Braun for Indiana.com. Mike Braun for Indiana.com. Thank you, Congress. Thank you, future Senator Mike Braun. I'll be back.